Hey, what's up guys? It's Scott. Um, so I know it's Wednesday and I had been posting my weight loss updates on Monday, um, but I decided to start this new thing called Weigh in Wednesdays. Why? Um, I don't know. It's alliterative, sounds better, rolls off the tongue easier, um, but mainly because you know, um, I, I do a pretty good job Monday through Friday of keeping a pretty consistent diet and schedule. And then on the, on the weekends, it's kind of irregular. Um, and so weighing in on Monday isn't really kind of the best indicator of how I've done over a week long period. So I figure if I do it on Wednesday, it's probably, you know, a better indicator. We've got some irregular days on there, some pretty normal days. And so it'll all kind of average out. Um, plus I was just super busy this weekend putting together my up move review. I spent a little too much time on that, I think. I think future review videos, I'll probably just try to get them done faster and get the content out there rather than getting bogged down. But if you haven't checked that out already, you should check it out, um, especially if you're considering getting a fitness tracker. Um, you can join me on Up. That would be super fun. Um, and then we can help each other through this weight loss journey. And speaking of weight loss journeys, first of all, I'm going to try to merge here um, because this person's being a douchey McDouche douche. Um, but okay. So speaking of weight loss journeys, it is time for me to update you guys on how I did last week. It's actually been a little bit longer than a week, um, because the last time I weighed in was Monday and today is Wednesday. So you do the math. Um, it's been about, a, it's been about a week and a half. Um, so I don't know, like, I wish I had better news for you guys, but you know, so I weighed in on Monday um, last Monday and I was 371.8 pounds. Today I weighed in, I'm 370.8 pounds. So I lost one pound last week, um, which is good. I mean, I guess I'm thankful that it's a loss, um, but it's definitely much less than the losses I had been posting for the previous weeks. And, um, and the really, really frustrating thing about it this week was that I had been, really taking my game to a new level. I had started exercising. I'm doing Tabata. Um, I was feeling super sore all week. Um, I was tracking my calories this week. Um, I was keeping it around 1,500, 1,600 until about the end of the week when I posted my video on plateauing because I had been basically doing everything kind of right by the book and just wasn't seeing any losses. And I was really, really concerned about that. Um, so I reached out to you guys for help. And, you know, a lot of people posted with some opinions. Um, it was very encouraging. But, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't really, you know, get a concrete game plan. Like some people told me, hey, just kind of continue, continue powering through. Um, you know, your body will get used to it eventually. Um, other people recommended calories cycling, which is, you know, basically just eating a little bit more in terms of calories. A lot of people told me 1500 was too low. Um, and that maybe my body's in starvation mode, which is weird because I didn't really feel like I was starving. Um, you know, I mean, there were times where I felt hungry, but I didn't really feel like it was, you know, out of control. Um, you know, so I tried over the weekend, like, you know, I had some pretty big meals, you know, I had a steak and a salad and outback one day, um, you know, exceeded my calorie allotment by a couple of a couple hundred calories that day. Woke up the next morning. I did not gain a pound. I did not gain weight. I did not lose weight. Um, you know, um, I tried. You know, keeping my calorie intake consistent. And, um, you know, woke, the, woke up the next morning and weighed myself and did not gain weight. Did not lose weight. Um, so it was literally holding flat for most of the week. Um, like pretty much all of the week, um, which was super super frustrating. Now. There were a couple of contributing factors. So, I mean, the first thing I talked about this in my other video was that I think I had a scale calibration issue. Um, so it's possible that two weeks ago, I might have posted more of a loss than I actually had because one of the things I figured out was that the floor in my bathroom is not level. So I would step on my scale kind of multiple times and get multiple different readings that, you know, kind of fluctuated. Um, so what I did to kind of combat that was I got a couple of like laminate wood planks, you know, like you get at Home Depot. Um, and I put a few of those together and just created a complete 
completely flat surface for my scale. Um, and ever since then, I've been getting much more consistent readings. Um, so, so I, I think that'll help kind of from now on. But even since I've done that, it's been about three days. Um, my weight readings have been exactly consistent and I've been logging about 1500 to 1600 calories each of these days. Um, so, um, so it's still kind of concerning. I am still kind of at that plateau stage and, um, I'm not really sure what I have to do in order to really kind of kick it to the next level. Um, so in terms of start, stop and continue, um, one of the things that I'm going to start doing this week is, I mean, at least for today, um, I am going to drastically cut my calories. Now, I know that's going to be a controversial thing. Um, a lot of you are telling me just to kind of power through it and just to keep on the course and eventually things will right themselves. Um, you know, I've, I've read a lot of literature on, um, intermittent fasting, interval fasting, um, and just calorie deficits in general. Um, and so, you know, I figure one day, let me see, um, let me see if this kind of just kickstarts, um, the process. But, um, what I'm going to do today is basically just try to stay on a liquid diet for the day. Um, I started out the day with some green juice and some protein powder. Um, and then I am having my cup of coffee as I normally do in the mornings. Um, and then, uh, you know, throughout the day, I've got a couple of more protein powder mixtures um, for me to subsist on, and um, and we'll just see um, where I where I end up tomorrow morning. And then you know if I end up like if this ends up kind of getting me out of my funk, um, you know I'll start incorporating solid foods again tomorrow. Um, but I just I need to change something up. So for this week, I don't know if there are things that I'm going to stop doing. I think I'm doing pretty much everything that I can be doing for now. I mean, if I had to choose one thing, I've noticed that my proportion of like fat to protein is pretty high on the fat side. So maybe I'll kind of cut back on my fat intake a little bit um, and let kind of proteins be the dominant factor there. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference. I'm, you know. I really kind of feel like the point where I'm at now, um, there's something more fundamental at play um, that I'm just kind of not understanding. Um, and in terms of what I'm going to continue doing, I'm going to continue to track my calories. I'm going to continue to do my Tabata exercises in the morning. Um, and I'm going to continue to weigh myself um, every day just to give myself um, some kind of indicator of where I'm at. I know a lot of you have said, don't weigh yourself every day. Um, you know, it's just going to demotivate you and you're going to fall off the wagon. Well, thankfully, because of the fact that I'm doing these videos and I've got a lot of people reaching out to me and helping me and encouraging me along the way, um, I don't really feel like falling off the wagon is an option. If anything, the scale just kind of provides me an indicator of whether or not I'm on the right track. Another thing that I'm going to start doing this week, and I know I said that I was going to do this last week, I just didn't get around to it, is um, I'm going to start relying on other measures of progress. Um, so one of the things that I'll be doing is buying like a tape, like a tape measure, I guess. It sounds like a like a construction tool so that I can measure my total inches and start keeping track of total inches lost. Um, I also need to find a good body fat monitor. So um, I have the Withings Body Analyzer Scale, which supposedly tracks your body fat percentage, but I've been using it for about a week. And in the past couple of days, it's been pretty consistent. Like the range of body fat percentages that it's been giving me has been pretty tight. Um, but when I first started out, it was just all over the place. Like I had a reading initially that was like 61% body fat. And then literally 30 seconds later, it was like 65% body fat. And then, you know, it went back down to like 62 or 63. Um, so I think as of this morning, I was like at something like 61% or 60 point something percent. Um, but I'm not sure how much to trust that figure. Um, so I'd be interested to see if any of you guys have recommendations on good body fat monitors that might be a little bit more reliable and a little bit more consistent way into way in. So that's it for today. If you're new to the channel and you want to follow along and see how I do in future weight loss updates, um, please click subscribe. I'd love to have you along the journey. Um, and I'd love to hear from you guys on the comments below. Um, what can I do to kind of break through this plateau? Are there any things that you've tried that have worked? 
Um, and then also, if you have some experience with a body fat analyzer um, that works well for you, I'd love to try them out um, and then review them on this channel. All right. Thanks, guys.